So with the final week of unlocks over for the Outbreak Perfected Zero Hour Mission, I thought I'd piece together a complete guide for anyone a little late in getting this done. In this video, I will show you the location of all three pairs of switches and the three secret vault puzzles. In turn, these unlock the Vimana Junker ship, the exotic ship, and all perks and attachments for the Outbreak Perfected, so you can craft the ultimate weapon. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So we will start with our three separate pairs of switches which are found throughout the Zero Hour mission. These switches require you to act fast because uh, once you pull one, there's around 30 seconds before you have to pull the other or the timer runs out. But don't worry if it does run out, you can rinse and repeat this until you get it done, it doesn't matter. Now these switches are tied to a quest for Ada 1 which she gives you once you've already completed the Zero Hour mission before. And the quest is called the Outbreak Refined. Now there are three individual steps to this quest rewarding you a different perk for the Outbreak Perfected. So step one is Outbreak Refined 1, this rewards you rapid hit. Outbreak Refined 2 rewards you rewind rounds. And Outbreak Refined 3 rewards you head seeker. Now these may be time gated at once per week. Uh, this means, but don't quote me on this uh, because I've been doing these as they come out, but I believe you will have to complete the first step of activating these switches and then completing the zero hour mission on Legend and then returning to Ada 1 and then receiving your perk obviously, then waiting a week for the next step, which requires you to do more or less the same thing of going back into the zero hour mission on Legend, activating a pair of switches, uh, completing it, returning to Ada 1, receiving your perk and again waiting another week for Outbreak Refined 3 which is the third and final step in rewarding you the three perks you can use and craft onto this weapon. They are Rapid Hit, Rewind Rounds and Head Seeker. Now if there is no time gate associated with this then you can do all these within the same week but you will still need to complete the zero hour mission on Legend between each step. So Outbreak Refined 1 starts at Ada 1 and the first step doesn't have anything to do with the actual mission of Zero Hour. You first have to head to the Cosmodrome and kill Fallen, which will eventually drop uh, the required inert Seaver clusters. Once these are collected, it's into that Zero Hour mission you need to go, on Legend by the way, to find those switches. Now a thing to remember, you can pull and activate these switches which completes this step regardless of progress made on this run of the Zero Hour Legend mission. So once you've pulled the switches, you are free to restart and then complete it on Legend not worrying about the switches because you've already pulled them. As that part of the quest is done and over and the next step is just to complete the mission on Legend. But yeah, before you think about it, you have to actually pull the switches on Legend too. You can't load it up on normal, pull the switches and then reload the mission on Legend and complete it that way. It doesn't work that way, unfortunately. Okay, so the first pair of switches you have to pull are right here within the mission. So as you progress past the Walker tank, uh, this section, you will quickly arrive at this point right here. So at this point, you can see the first switch which is located on the wall by this small platform. Here though, what I'd actually do is I'd push on to the second switch and then come back to this first switch as there's no order in which you have to pull them. It just makes things a lot easier jumping down than jumping up. So at this point, pull all the levers as I do to open a vault above which you do have to climb. I can't remember which one opens when you have to go up, so pull them all. It takes about 15 seconds to do so. Then make your way up as I do. Once you get up here guys, pull this switch on the wall right here. Once you've done this, jump back down and activate and pull that first switch. And now the first set of switches are done. You can now restart the mission and complete it on Legend again, saving you time messing around with your switches or just progress on on your current run and complete the mission. It's completely up to you. But once you have completed this mission, return to Ada 1 where she rewards you that rapid hit perk. 
Okay, so step two is obviously absolutely fine too. And this again starts with Ada 1. The first step is to defeat Fallen within the Exodus Garden 2A Lost Sector within the Cosmodrome. Again, you have to collect those inert Siva clusters. Once you've done these guys, you now have to head back into the Zero Hour mission on that legend. So the second set of switches are located right after the first set, quite literally. So as you get to this point right here guys, there are ledges in which you have to mantle across or jump across, with fallen enemies are waiting for you on the sides. Now the first switch is literally right next to that first fallen enemy on the right there. Here what I do is ignore the switches for now, clear out all these enemies including the captain at the far end. Right next to him is a lever which reveals platforms which you should pull because it makes this whole process a little easier. So do that. So once you have, head back to that first switch, then pull it, then simply follow this path by progressing and eventually you'll end up right here guys where that second switch is found and located around a short corner. Once pulled, if you did it in time, you are good here. Again, you can restart the mission and run through it or just continue on your current run. It's completely up to you. But again, you have to complete this mission. It's as simple as that. Once you do though, you head back to Ada 1 where she will then reward you rewind rounds. Pretty cool. Okay, so the third and final step of this quest is obviously called Absolutely Find Free. So this initially requires you to enter the strike on the Cosmodrome, the Devil's Lair and kill Fallen here to collect again those inert Seaver clusters. Once you are done here though guys, you can then head back into the Zero Hour mission, but again has to be on Legend. So the third set of switches are literally just on from the second set where you have to do that jumping puzzle. So from this point right here guys you can see where that first switch is but in my opinion it's much easier to activate the second one than come back to the first switch. So make your way around the jumping puzzle as I do right here guys uh, then activate the switch and simply jump back to that first lever. Simple as that people. Once done, you now have to complete the Zero Hour mission again on Legend. Once done here, make your way back to Edelwan and complete this quest and unlocking that Head Seeker perk for your Outbreak perfected. Pretty beastly. And that is it guys for the main perks for your Outbreak as well as those switches and pulling them. So we're now going to move on to the Vaulted Obstacles Vault Puzzles, also found within the Zero Hour mission. These unlock everything else uh, regarding the crafting perks, barrels, magazines, stocks and everything else associated with crafting the perfect Outbreak Perfected. This also gives you when you do these the exotic ship, the Vimana Junker. So these work much differently to the switches and can be done by the way in that normal version of the mission. Plus you don't have to complete the mission once you've done the puzzles, pretty cool. I will mention though, I don't know if you can right now, but possibly next week you'll be able to do all three of these within the same run. I mean you might be able to do it now, but I can't confirm it as I've been doing it week by week. So how this works is quite simple. You activate a certain panel found on a wall which gives you a 40-45 to second buff called the temporary clearance granted. Once you have this buff you have to shoot three symbols in a particular order. Now there are three of these sets of three symbols found throughout the Zero Hour mission, all found in different parts obviously. The first set is near the beginning, the second set is where that ship helipad is and the third set is found within the Trevor encounter. 
So how this process works is quite simple. There's a panel which you have to initiate. Once you do, it gives you that 45 second buff. You then guys need to find, locate three symbols. These symbols are always in the same spot, but again, you may be required to shoot them in a different order. The order in which you need to shoot them is showcased by that initial panel on the wall you activated, or there is a hologram always nearby which shows you what symbol to shoot next. And what you're doing is guys, you're basically building the Siva symbol. It's quite simple. So the first vault puzzle is found in the first area where that brig is. So here, take out all the enemies in this area, then jump onto this platform right here. You can see guys right here, there's that panel on the wall. Now the three symbols which you have to shoot can be found on the side of this small building, the pillow right here, and just down below where the floor is broken where you progress on. Now the hologram, which also shows you what to shoot next, is found right here too. So just make sure you're confident you know where all three symbols are, and well that's really all it takes. So initiate that panel on the wall, uh, shoot the symbols in the correct order. If you do it within a time uh, frame, you'll see sequence accepted the bottom left of your screen. It's as simple as that. But people, once you get this part done, once you do the shooting of these symbols, that's only part one of two. You now have to make your way to the final part of the mission, just before the boss room to complete this process. This room here is called the Cryptarch Vault. And within here guys, you'll notice there are loads of rooms, some blocked, others open. Now I could explain to you how you figure this out for yourself, which is a much, much longer process, but you basically have to initiate certain terminals in a certain order. It's easier for you to just copy what you see on the screen and get this process done. So initiate the terminals you see in the exact order you'll see my friend easy now do on screen now and get this part of this vault puzzle completed. And it really is as simple as that guys. Once you are done here, people, complete the mission or back out. It's completely up to you and it has no effect on the vault puzzle. Okay, so the second vault puzzle takes place not long after you take out that walker tank where you make your way to this area right here where that landing pad is. Now to initiate the process, uh, you need to obviously activate that panel which is located hidden away down here. Now the hologram which tells you what to shoot next can be found on the floor above. So shoot them in the right order, build that Siva logo and you're good to go from this part. The panels you have to shoot can be seen on the screen now, free in total as always, quite easy to see and get used to. So make yourself comfortable with where they are, initiate the process, shoot them in order and get this done. Okay, so obviously now you've done this guys, you have to make your way back to the Cryptarch Vault, the area before that boss fight, and complete the second part of the second vault puzzle. From here guys, again you have to activate terminals in a certain order to finish this puzzle. So again, do as my pal Easy now does, follow exactly what he does, activate the exact terminals in the order he does, and you'll be good with this vault puzzle. Simple as that.
Now, the third and final thought puzzle is found within the Trevor Encounter. Now, when you get here, guys, if you jump down, head left, there's that small section you can use as a safe space. This is where you'll find that panel on the wall to start the process. Okay, so once you do this, guys, if you carry on around to the left, up on the left of the wall, you'll see that first panel in which you'll have to shoot. The second panel is found where the cutout is for where you open the path forward uh, by using that switch just on the wall right here, guys, is where that panel is is and there's also the hologram found right here on the floor just before you enter that certain pull off point to where that switch is located and the third and final panel guys can be found within the cutout where you can jump and rest free of trevor so using the initial panel and that hologram shoot the place in order to progress that vault puzzle remember guys again you're building that siva logo once you've done this, people, again, you have to make your way to the Cryptarch Vault just before that boss room. And again, here, activate terminals in a certain order. So as my powder's on screen now, activate the terminals and complete the third and final vault puzzle. Once you are done here, guys, you are good to go. From here, you can claim the ship from your Triumphs menu. You can also head to the Enclave, apply that Intrinsic, Intrinsic 4 being the one rewarded for the third and final uh, Vault Puzzle. And from here, guys, you've unlocked everything besides the three perks tied to Aid 1's Outbreak Refined Quest Line. And there we have it guys, a complete guide on a zero hour mission, all its secrets and unlocking the outbreak perfected and every perk available to it. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one. We all on YouTube every damn day, watching these vids of the brand new games. Bid after bid, many of y'all the same, that's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Destiny gameplays, weekly snipes, heavy uploads gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide.